Hello everyone, this is Xinqian Mao. I'm the postdoc from Professor Ji's group at Princeton University. Today, my presentation is about kinetic study of plasma-assisted endolecking, oxygen, nitrogen, pyrolysis, and oxidation in a nanosecond post-discharge. This work is collaborated with Professor Wesselke at Princeton University and Professor Qi Chen at Beijing Jiao Tong University. At first, I'd like to introduce the motivation of this work. The non-equidium brain plasma has shown significant kinetic enhancement in combustion, especially at low temperatures when the oxidation pathways are slow. The electrons excited species and radicals generated by plasma could dramatically accelerate this low temperature pathway such as through electron impact excitation, dissociation, and the following chemical reactions with newly created species. However, for the large hydrocarbons, the reactions of fuel with electrons, excited species, and NOx are still not well understood. Therefore, it would be interesting for us to understand these plasma-assisted pathways by developing a kinetic model through experiment and the numerical methods. In our recent study, we developed a plasma-assisted Penton combustion model. The electron impact dissociation reactions with fuel were updated based on time-dependent and steady-state measurements. The model with these electron impact reactions shows a better performance in predicting the species production, as can be seen from the solid lines in this figure. In this work, we will study the plasma-assisted endodecking combustion, which is a representative component for large jet fuel. In the real engine, air is mostly used as the oxidizer. Therefore, the nitrogen-oxygen mixture is used in this study instead of helium or argon. Thus, it's natural for us to ask, how will these plasma-generated species, such as electrons, electronically excited nitrogen, O1D, and NOx, affect the endolecin pyrolysis and oxidation at low temperatures? Motivated by the discussion above, in this work, Firstly, the time-dependent and steady-state measurements for temperature, fuel, intermediate species, and NO are conducted by TDLAS, GC sampling, and DMFRS methods. Then, a plasma-assisted endodecking air combustion mechanism is developed and validated based on the experimental data. Finally, the kinetic effects of excited species and radicals generated by the non-equidium brium excitation on endolecin pyrolysis and oxidation are studied. The experiment is conducted in a plant-to-plant DBD flow reactor by using a nanosecond post-power supply. A post-booster mode is applied to the time-dependent measurement, and a continuous discharge is applied to the steady-state measurements. 1% fuel is added in the mixtures both at pyrolysis and oxidation cases. The pressure is 30 torr in order to keep the uniformity of the discharge. For the experiments, the time-dependent measurements are conducted by TDLAS to get the time evolution of endolecin, methane, acetylene, water, formaldehyde, and temperature. The more fractions of C0 to C5 species at steady states are measured by GC sampling. The NO formation at steady states is measured by DMFRS. For the numerical modeling, it is conducted by a time-splitting hybrid ZD-plasking MK model. The model incorporates the plasma kinetic solver ZD-plasking and the combustion kinetic solver chemkin. 
The species production or consumption rate is contributed by both plasma kinetics and combustion kinetics. In each time step, the plasma kinetics and the combustion kinetics are solved alternatively. In this work, we develop a new plasma-assisted endodecking air combustion mechanism. The mechanism consists of a plasma skeletal mechanism and a combustion reduced mechanism. The plasma kinetics incorporate the reactions of excited species with few and few radicals. For the combustion mechanism, the endodecking mechanism is reduced from test model by Princeton CAMRC. The C0 to C2 reactions are replaced by HPMIC for accurate modeling the low temperature chemistry. The reactions of N and NOx with few and few radicals are also included. The red figure shows the applied voltage in a single pulse used in this simulation. The peak over N in this study is around 400 to 600 thousand. This slide shows the updated reactions in the plasma kinetics. At first, we conduct the analysis of electron energy loss fractions at different U over N. As the cross-sections of N dodecking with electrons are not available in these ratios, the cross-sections of ethane are used. It can be seen that at Z over N started in this work, the electron energy loss in field dissociation is very small. Most energy goes to the excitation of nitrogen and oxygen. Therefore, the electron impact reactions of endodecking can be neglected in this work. For the unknown plasma reactions between endodecking and excited species, they can be simplified as the reactions between electronically excited nitrogen with fuel in pyrolysis case as well as the reactions of O1D and O1S with endodecking at oxidation condition. Next, the reaction rate constants are fitted by the experimental data. In the modeling, the overall rate constant between electronically excited nitrogen with fuel is fitted by the fuel consumption in the pyrolysis case. Then, branching ratios are fitted by the mirrored species concentrations. Based on the data from the pyrolysis case, the rate constants between O1D and O1S with endodecking are fitted by using the same method at oxidation condition. This slide shows the time-dependent temperature measurements by TDLAS. The temperature rise in the pyrolysis is mainly caused by plasma drawer heating. There is an additional 60 Kelvin temperature rise in the oxidation case, even with fewer plasma pulses. This is due to fuel oxidation. In order to avoid the errors from the heat loss in temperature calculation, the mirrored temperature profiles are used as input for the numerical modeling. These figures show the time-dependent densities of endodecking major intermediate species and products in pyrolysis and oxidation cases. It can be seen that the model agrees well with the experimental data in the pyrolysis case. In the oxidation condition, the difference of endodecking density between the experiment and the model may be caused by two factors. One is that the major products of water and the formaldehyde are underpredicted during the plasma bursts. The other reason is that in the oxidation condition, more intermediate species are produced. This will affect the laser absorption. For the results at steady states, the predicted species concentrations match well with the measurements in the pyrolysis case. In the oxidation case, the primary oxidative species, such as water and carbon dioxide with high concentrations, are well predicted. But the C0 to C5 hydrocarbons with low concentrations are all underpredicted. 
This may due to the lack of electron impact reactions of endodecin in the present study. Therefore, we conducted one more case to include the electron impact reactions by adjusting the cross sections. As can be seen from the dashed line in the oxidation case, the more fractions of these hydrocarbons with low concentrations can be predicted. Due to the low concentration of fuel in our work, the production of primary species is not affected in the modeling, even without these electron impact reactions. However, if the fuel concentration increases, the accurate cross-sections and branching ratios of these electron impact reactions with endodecin are important and need to be included in the model. Next, the path flux analysis is conducted to study the pyrolysis and oxidation pathways. In the pyrolysis condition, endodecin is primarily dissociated by electronically excited nitrogen, N2A and N2A dot. The radicals produced will be further consumed to generate C1 to C3 hydrocarbons or recombine back to endodecin. In the oxidation condition, endodecin is primarily consumed by OH and O radicals. The O radicals generated by plasma promote the production of dodecyl radical and OH. This will trigger a loop to OH production and accelerate the fuel oxidation. In air plasma, NO is produced during the discharge. In this work, DMFRS is applied to measure the NO concentration, and the effects of NO on fuel oxidation will be studied. The measurements show that NO concentration increases with frequencies without fuel. However, with 1% fuel addition, the NO concentration decreases dramatically, as can be seen both in experiments and numerical modeling. Therefore, the path flux analysis is conducted to understand the effects of NO in low temperature fuel oxidation. The results show that N radicals and electronically excited species N2D produced in plasma promote the production of NO. NO shows a strong catalytic effect on low temperature fuel oxidation by the reaction pathways between NO with RO2 to generate NO2 and the reactions between NO2 with fuel radicals to generate NO. Now goes to the conclusion. In this work, a plasma-assisted endodecin air combustion mechanism is developed based on time-dependent and steady-state measurements for temperature, fuel, intermediate species, and NO. The major pyrolysis pathway for endodecin is the dissociation reactions with electronically excited N2A and N2A dot. In the oxidation condition, the endodecin is primarily consumed by O and OH. The O radical generated in plasma promotes the production of OH and dobethyl as well as accelerates fuel oxidation. NO has a strong catalytic effect on plasma-assisted low-temperature combustion via NORO2 and NO2 fuel radical reaction pathways. At last, the modeling results also suggest that the dedicated measurements and the quantum calculation for electron impact reactions of large hydrocarbons are critical for future plasma kinetic studies. In the end, the authors would like to thank all the grant support. Thanks for your attention, and any questions, 